Now, I'd like to just say a word about meridians. Meridians are these lines which go round the Earth through the North and South Pole. Uh, and meridians are the lines which tell us where north is. So if I look exactly north from here, I'm looking along a meridian. A meridian is any line which goes from where you are to the North Pole, basically. Um, and we often imagine meridians as parallel, but they're not parallel because they all converge at the North Pole. And so if we look at the, if we look at the Earth from the top, you can see quite clearly here that the meridians are not parallel. The further, the further north you get, the more the, the lines leave parallel, right? Because they're converging towards a point. Now, when you're at the level of Egypt, they don't converge very much, but they converge a little bit. In other words, if we come back here, the meridian line which goes through the Heliopolis, Heliopolis obelisk is not exactly parallel to the line that goes through the Giza Plateau, the meridian that goes through the Giza Plateau. They're not exactly parallel, okay? Because they're both pointing towards the North Pole, and so they converge. And if you draw, if I exaggerate it by drawing like this, because 45 degrees is the diagonal of a square, okay? But if it was exactly a square traced on the Earth, one side of it wouldn't be north-south. Okay? So if you follow the meridian lines, then the angles in these corners are slightly smaller than 90 degrees because the two lines are converging. And the angles at the top here are slightly greater than 90 degrees because they're more open. Okay? Now, what does this mean? This means that if you draw a line back from the Great Pyramid to the Heliopolis obelisk, it won't be exactly 45 degrees. It's 45 degrees exactly from the obelisk to the pyramid, but if you draw it back in the other direction, it won't be exactly the same angle. In fact, if you draw it back in the other direction, I've, as I've done here, I've managed to get a photo here where it goes along the diagonal, the result is 44.93 degrees. So you get a difference of 0 0.07 degrees if you draw the line from the pyramid back to the, the obelisk rather than the other way. So what we can determine from this is that the starting point was the obelisk. Okay, If we've got an exact 45 degree angle from the obelisk down to the corner of the pyramid, then the angle was drawn from the obelisk, because if we draw it the other way, then it's slightly off. But what's very interesting to note here is that the diagonal of the pyramid is exactly along that line. So the diagonal of the pyramid is not exactly at 45 degrees with respect to north, but slightly off. Now, everybody talks about the incredible precision of the Great Pyramid, that it's per, you know, orientated towards cardinal directions with only a very slight difference of four minutes. A minute is a 60th of a degree, and that the sides have a difference of only four minutes from true north. What I'm going to suggest is that that was done on purpose. That that difference of four minutes is not an error. It was actually done on purpose. That these people were capable, if they'd wanted, of building this pyramid precisely north-south. We've seen in all the examples I've been giving that the angles are exact to one hundredth of a degree. The pyramid is slightly off by four minutes. And in fact, I think it was done on purpose so that we could see the size of the Earth. Do you get me? So, if we go a bit further into this, so this difference of 4.2 minutes, it's 0 
0.07 degrees in decimal system, or if you put it in minutes, it's 4.2 minutes difference, right? So the angle of this is, is off by 4.2 minutes. Now, if we go back to Flinders, Pet Flinders Petrie's um, exact measurements of the pyramid, he measured the pyramid in meters, but also he got all the different azimuths, an incredible work. And what we discover, uh, a direction, okay. orientation, okay. right? And what we discover is that the diagonal we're interested in, which is the northeast southwest one, is exactly deviant by 4 minutes and 15 seconds, or 4.25 minutes. So that that diagonal is exactly pointing towards the Heliopolis obelisk. It's deviated from north by 4.2, or from, from 45 degrees by 4.25 minutes. Okay, so that starts looking quite strange. So what one could say is, well, yes, well, they could see the obelisk and they aimed towards the obelisk to position the diagonal. So, of course, it's not going to be perfectly orientated. But then, of course, what do you do with the rest of the pyramid? Do you build the whole thing off? In which case it looks like a kind of mistake or... So what did they do? So the southwest northeast diagonal aims exactly towards the Heliopolis obelisk. But you get the other, the north-south or the north uh, deviation is two and a half minutes and the west two and a half minutes. So there we have the same deviation between the north and the west side. But it's not four minutes, it's two and a half. And the east side is deviated to five minutes and 30 seconds. So what does all this mean? Basically, uh, what we also see is that if you take the angles of the pyramid, so it's a square with right angles, okay? Each corner is a right angle. If you look at the northwest corner, the angle of the northwest corner is 89 degrees, 59 minutes, and 58 seconds. It is only two seconds off a perfect right angle. We're talking about a building which is 230 meters long, right? So these people, quite clearly, by the northwest corner, they're showing us that they're perfectly capable of doing exact work here, because they've got an exact right angle in the northwest corner. Whereas the other corners, are slightly off. You can add them together. So that's perfect, right? Exact right angle. And um, if you add 33 minutes to 3, then you get 333, okay? 33 seconds. You can add them together. So all of this has, has brought me to this plan here, uh, which is slightly exaggerated so we can see what's happening. The uh, cardinal directions, exact north, south, east, and west, are given by the red dotted line. Um, and what it seems is that first, the first thing that happened was that the square was turned, okay, like that? It was turned by two and a half minutes. And that wasn't enough. So what they then did was they brought the, the eastern side in a bit so that we would have exactly 44.93 degrees off to the Heliopolis obelisk. Okay? So it would seem that this square was slightly deviated on purpose to indicate that these people knew the size of the earth and that they adjusted the pyramid because of the distance between the pyramid and the Heliopolis obelisk. Now, let's move away from Giza and now move to the Bent Pyramid. Have you heard of this one? Officially, this is a bit further south, you know. Officially, the Bent Pyramid was kind of a mistake. Officially, they got to a certain height and they thought, oh, la, la, this is a bit sort of steep. Let's slope it off a bit, you know, and so they went up at one angle and got to a certain height and then went off at another angle. Uh, it's a mistake. This is the official theory. 
of why this pyramid is like this. You know, they got sort of worried that it would fall apart because it was too steep. And so they, um, which shows how we consider these people, you know, they're building sort of incredibly massive monuments, which we are not capable of building today. But they were making sort of silly mistakes about the angles they were going to do it at and had to correct halfway up. And I don't go for that. And you'll probably see why in a minute. But anyway, this is the bent pyramid. It's a very big one. It's 180 meters at the base, right? The base, 180 meters. So that's nearly two football pitch lengths along one side, along the base side. So it's very huge, yeah. And this is a very old one. It was built uh, by Sneferu around 2600 BC. So it's supposed to predate the Great Pyramid. Okay. Now, here's a, a plan of it. In fact, the two angles are very interesting. The lower angle is 7 over 5 angle, and the upper one, 17 to 18. Okay. And even the measurements. I mean, the whole thing is very interesting, but that's not my subject. My subject is this, is that the bent pyramid, when placed from the Heliopolis obelisk, is at 14.04 degrees, exactly a quadruple square, right, over a distance of 38 kilometers. So I've got to show you this, haven't I, on Google Earth. So let's go back to the Heliopolis obelisk. Where is it? So I'll place the thing on here, and then we'll go down to the Bent Pyramid, which is here. This is quite some trip, you know, 38 kilometers. But thanks to Google Earth, we're going to do it quite fast. Now, can you see there's a kind of little indent at the entrance here? So we'll go down to that. There you go. 194.04. So that's 180 plus 14.04, which is 14.04 is the exact angle of a quadruple square. Yes? Right? Okay. I've got the quadruple square in here. I've actually put it into Google Earth. Where am I? Quadruple square. There you go. So if I zoom out, you can see the scale of that. <laughs> now, you may wonder, you may think, oh, well, that's not exactly precise. It's not at the summit of the pyramid. It's at the southern base in the middle of the pyramid. But I'll show you why that's the case, because they've included the size of the pyramid. You saw that the exact angle for Gizeh was at the south corner. And here we're at the southern base of the, the Bent Pyramid, because the size of the pyramid is included in the north-south distance. OK, but I'll come back to that in a second. But the important thing that you should realize <laughs> is that this quadruple square, which we saw at the Giza Plateau, and which is the thing which determined the latitude of the Giza Plateau, well, this quadruple square has been used to position the Bent Pyramid from Heliopolis. So the idea that uh, the Bent Pyramid was Sneferu building his tomb, you know, in some sort of, forget it. This is quite obviously something else. And we're talking about incredible precision geometry, which we are only capable of checking today with this material, with satellites and computers and, and everything we have today. This now enables us to see this, right? This could never have been seen before this. You know, how are you going to measure the angle over 38 kilometers between the Heliopolis obelisk and the Bent Pyramid without, well, I mean, you could do all the sort of, you know, triangulation stuff, but you have to be sure of what you were wanting to do beforehand. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's 
the first point. <laughs> so let's get back to the presentation. It's, well, it's absolutely perfect. So, uh, and the other thing which is interesting is as you have a 45 degree angle between Heliopolis and Gizeh, the remaining angle here, when, if you take 14.04 from 45, the remaining angle is 30.96. That's the exact angle of a 3 by 5 rectangle. If you take 3 by 5 rectangle and you draw the diagonal, the angle is 30.96. So there's a relationship between the, the quadruple square and 45 degrees through a simple rectangle. So you don't need compasses and things. You can actually do this using rectangles and whole numbers. Now, of course, I've talked about angles here, but we could talk about units of measurement. What are the units of measurement? What's going on here? Uh, I can't go into all the detail of that, because as soon as you get into measurements, it starts getting very long and complicated, and it's too much for this talk. But I'll just give a general idea of the units by putting this grid on here. So the first thing is the square, of course, between the Heliopolis obelisk and Gizeh. Well, if we link these things together, that square will be 23 units wide. Right? It's a square, so it's 23 by 23. And using those same units, then from the Heliopolis obelisk to the Bent Pyramid, we have 13 to 52. It's a 1 by 4 rectangle, but it boils down to 13 by 52 squares, exactly the same squares that will give you 23 on the Heliopolis to Gizeh square. Now that means that if you go from the Bent Pyramid back to Gizeh, you have a remaining 10 on the width, 13 plus 10, 23, and then 29 on the north-south, which gives you an angle of 70.97. And I won't do it, but I mean, if you go onto Google Earth, you can check that back and you get this angle, okay? So this whole thing fits perfectly with these numbers. And what's interesting is, so 13 plus 10 gives you 23, 2 squared plus 3 squared equals 4 plus 9 equals 13. It's a happy number. 23 <laughs> is another happy number. So it's in the series of the 1, 7, 10, 13 happy numbers. 23 fits in there. It's 10 plus 13 here at the base. <laughs> 